Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to look at some Japanese stamps that I picked up a few months ago, actually, maybe even a year. Uh, but they're still sitting on these pages. I have to move them to a stock book or on a different album. Uh, but for now, I'm just have them sit here until I uh, get time uh, to organize these. So, you know, we started 1876. Nice times. I always like these two stamps. Imperial Japanese Post. All right. Let's call page two. Where's his foot? Shoe. Kind of interesting. All right, let's go to the next page. These are pretty cool. There's a dragon. Maybe. Mount Fuji, I assume. This page. Let's remove this. So we're almost in the nineteen thirties here. Nineteen thirty. Yep, battleship starts. You can see this with several countries, even like Germany, you know, they, they be, the stamps become more warlike, battleships, soldiers and things like that. Nice engraved stamps. Phoenix rising for the ashes or an eagle, I'm not sure. This looks pretty cool. Fish. Alright. Mm, nothing much over here. 1941 Call 
probably not the best on these mm. 1942-45 so maybe some shortage of ink and things like that you know during the war Perforated. All right, then this is after the war period forty six. So what do we have here? Let's take a look. Don't know what it says, but Fuji Hakone National Park. Let's take a look. I think we've seen some of these stamps already, probably, maybe, maybe not. And then beautiful map somehow reminds me of the Lord of the Ring books you know how they have the map in the front all right let's continue another one this this is Tuada National Park I guess. Let's see, does it have a map? Yes, it does. All right, let's go to the next page. Uh, after this, it's kind of sparse, not that many stamps, so I might cut this short here. Let's see. 1951 farm or something. No, I'm not sure. Tempo. All right, that's it. Uh, I'll stop here. There's no point going through all these when most of these pages are empty. Uh, all right, so once. I organize these, maybe I'll do another video in who knows how many months, once I have time to do that. Alright, so that's it for now, see you soon, bye bye.